Joe Clarkson here with Chilling with a Polar Bear. This week we have Brent Donnelly. Brent, thanks for being here. Brent just finished up a really successful season with our football team, so we're going to ask him a few questions. Brent, very successful season. What was different from this year's team than the previous teams you've been on? I think just the camaraderie we had as a team this year was just really like tight. Um, going to Italy over the summer to start off the season helped a lot. Because you, you guys we got to hang out with each other a lot over there and just have a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with the coaches. And I really think that helped shape our season. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you think that the team evolved over the season from start to finish? Um, I think after week two when we wouldn't beat Otterbein because we had a tough loss to them in the previous season, we got really hungry and everyone, no one wanted to really lose. And then we came up short against Mount and we got upset with ourselves and then we just went out and played even harder. So, I mean, just beating Otterbein really helped us. Mm -hmm. Be successful. Now you talk about a few of the OAC teams. How do you think playing in such a competitive conference helps you guys as a team? Um, I think it helps us a lot, especially in the rankings, because um, the the quality of opponent that we play every weekend isn't the same around the country. I mean, just in the beginning of the season, we played Wisconsin and River Falls, and obviously if they weren't one of the caliber of the teams like Otterbein or Heidelberg in the OAC. Mm -hmm. Now, you guys got into the NCAAs this year, and you also got to host. Can you talk about what that meant for the team as well, especially for the senior class? Oh, uh, that was a great feeling just to know that we got to play Wittenberg. If, every year since we've been here, we've always been ranked, but Wittenberg has, ever, has been ranked over us every single year, and it just was a great relief to go and play them and actually beat them at home yeah. in your senior year. Yeah. Now, individually, you've had a very successful career. What do you contribute to all of your success here at ONU? Um, I pretty much contribute just the hard work that my I've been forced to do throughout my life. I mean, you have, I have really good parents, and I just they've always pushed me to do my best and give my best effort for everything I did. And I mean, I really think it helps me. It helped me out on the field and off the field, especially here going into my senior year and getting ready to graduate. Yeah. Now you've had a lot of great memories here at ONU. Can you talk about the most memorable moment that you've experienced as a polar bear? Um. I can say just playing Mount Yen this past year was probably about eleven to 12,000 fans in the stands at Mount. I mean, it was a big crowd. We were all on the national stage, and it was just a great feeling. I mean, I wish the game could have turned out a little bit different, but it was definitely a cool experience to have. How has being part of the polar bear program impacted your life? Uh, being a polar bear is awesome. Um, just we go, in, go anywhere. You walk around with a chip on your shoulder because you want to be better than everybody, but... <laughs> I mean, it's, I definitely had a great time here. It's been a great four years. Um, I'm going to miss it, definitely. I'm definitely going to come back and try to get involved a little bit. But I'm looking forward to watching these guys tear it up next year. Yeah. And that kind of leads into the last question. What do you see in the future for this program? I can see nothing but going up. I mean, these past two years, they've brought in tremendous athletes and students. And I really think they can be successful as long as they stay on the same path that we tried to guide for them. And um, they get in the weight room and they take care of business. I mean. Anyone can be successful, but it has to come with camaraderie and hard work. Yep. Well, thank you so much for being here, Brent, and congratulations on such a good season. For ONUSports.com, I'm Joe Clarkson.